businesses, uh, there's a YouTube channel called Kento Bento. Uh, and uh, I think on Twitter it's Kento Bento 2015 for whatever reason, but Kento Bento. Uh, they, they basically um, do animated uh, history stories, not just about Japan. They do some about, uh, you know, sort of uh, famous like bank heists and crimes or whatever. They did a good one about um, how, the, how the North Korean spies operate out of Macau. Um, some other good sort of stories, but yeah, the the the, the, the most recent uh, episode of Kento Bento is the first of a three-part episode on the hijacking of Japan Airlines uh, 351. Um, to me, this time period, the, the the early 1970s, the late 1960s, is just like a crazy time. It's it's so impossible for me to imagine Japan, a country where you have high school students and university students not only being political and non-apathetic, but being so political and non-apathetic that they are actually um, you know, uh, doing Capitol Hill riots in Parliament and uh, blowing up, uh, you know, buildings and hijacking airplanes. And um, the general story, I mean, if you don't know about this, perhaps I shouldn't, uh, perhaps I shouldn't give spoilers because it is a, it is an incredible story. As airplane hijackings go, the, the, what I already knew about this, particularly um, basically some red army terrorists basically university students um, some even younger there were actually some high school students in this group um, decided to hijack an airplane uh, to take to Cuba uh, they wanted to redirect a domestic flight to Fukuoka to Cuba it turned out they didn't realize that the plane couldn't fly to Cuba so they decided instead to go towards Pyongyang um, and uh, this was with a full plane of people who were flying from Tokyo to um, you know from from Haneda to Fukuoka I believe um, and it turned into this crazy extended sort of ordeal and you know um, without going into it even the first episode of it I've heard the story told I've seen documentaries on this I've heard the story told many ways the way that Kento Bento did it apart from the fact that the storytelling is awesome they, they focused in on some details that I didn't actually appreciate like the identities and the backgrounds of some of the hijackers um, the nuances of some of the you know the interactions with the pilot and so on and, and how the plane was taken over but yeah basically this is a bunch of students hijacked a domestic flight with samurai swords um, and, and were kind of successful um, it, it's a crazy story just just on its own it's a story that oh someone's talking about that I want to listen to it but the story was told in a really really captivating sort of a way it's going to be a three-parter and there's only one part up so far but I really do recommend go go subscribe go check out Kento Bento and go check out the um, just check it out insane hijacking of Japan Airlines flight 351 it's a it's a well told story and the next two episodes will be good to look out to